awesome group of kids. We got a long ways to go. Competitiveness, wanting to do it the right way, wanting to compete, wanting to play for their teammates. It's been so much fun for 15 days. We've made a lot of progress. We got a long, long summer, long fall camp before we even get to Marshall. But it, it, we got a chance. We got a chance to play football the right way, and I think the kids really want to do it. So it's I, I'm couldn't be more excited and and really am seriously disappointed. Like spring, we've had so much fun here for the last five weeks. It's been awesome. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it changed a little bit based on injuries, based on depth, based we trying to change prep structure. We we like to do a lot of team, but when you're, you know, we don't, you, we had no issues at O-line. We had guys that needed to get cleaned up from the season. We didn't really have anybody get hurt in the spring up there. We just had guys, so we were a little lean, but um, the intensity, we wanted to ratchet up, the, the competition factor, we want to ratchet up, and then the attention to doing your job every single second of every single play, and the kids did a great job. That's where the leadership, that's where the veteran group, like, We've been driving that here for a long time. We still drove it this spring, but they drove it a lot more than we drove it as far as how to practice the right way all the time. So that's what made it fun for us as coaches. Any pleasant surprises for you uh, individually, guys who really made a lot of progress? Yeah, there's 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 a ton. Uh, I started on offense, and I'm going to miss some, so I apologize. Like Dom Robinson, tons of progress. Jack Sorensen, tons of progress. Um, even Nate Becker, even though he's a start, like tons of like a whole different level for him. You know, Homer and uh, Xavier at tight end. Um, Jalen Bester in the backfield. Davian Johnson in the backfield. Jackson Williamson, not even the same. Just he works so hard physically in the offseason that he's he's just so much stronger and faster and more athletic, just let alone just learning the game. So tons of guys in offense. Defense, um, backup backers, the, the, the Nigel Adams, the, the Cam Turners, uh, Bart Barati, Darius Thompson, um, uh, Mike Brown. Um, really all the corners we still got a ways to go but all the corners making strides so and then even honestly Josh and, and DeAndre Montgomery even though they've been proven really good player their their games we know there's a couple more levels in their game and they took a giant step this spring so um, and then all the younger we got all them young D linemen they're all getting better by the day they're all fighting like crazy during the day so um, it was it was I mean it was a great it's as good a spring as I've had it's a, it's a great group of kids that want they love football and they love to compete and they want to get better. So it's hard to have a bad day with these kids. If you've got a large senior class. Have they given any kind of an indication uh, to you uh, about how they want to go out this year? Yeah, I really haven't asked them. So if they have an indication, I, they, uh, we're just we're still building this thing. I know everybody wants the final outcome, you know, yeah. like we're still building this thing and it's getting stronger and stronger. We're talking about the persistence it takes to be great at anything in life, not football, like just the dedication, the day-to-day -day grind, the consistency and performance that as soon as you take your foot off the gas, somebody passes you up. And, and so that's what we've been focused on. We're not, everybody, hey, what do you think? You know, I got asked that 45,000 times in the pancake breaks. What do you think this year? Like, I don't know, what do you think? We're gonna play, we're gonna play 12 games, we're going, I don't know. Like, everybody, well, what do you think? Uh, eight and four, nine and two, five and seven, three and nine. Like, I don't, like, that's not how you have success in life and that's not really what we focus on. You lost the most starters at wide receiver and defensive backfield. Are you comfortable with the guys you have tentatively plugged in there to replace those starters? Yeah, I think I think there's there's plenty of skill guys on offense, and I don't look at it just receivers. But if I if I tell you, you know, uh, James Garner, Luke Mayock, Dom Robinson, and Jack Sorensen, and then you look at our backs with with obviously Zoe Kenny. No Mo Thomas all spring, Jalen Bester, Davion Johnson. Then you look at our tight end crew. Like, we got plenty of guys in the lineup. I'm not worried about our – when I talk skill guys, if you just say strictly wideouts, I'd like to have a couple more able-bodied wideouts. But you talk enough guys to line up on the perimeter and play really good football, we got, we got more than we can use. Has this spring given you any kind of an indication of whether you'll be able to run a really balanced uh, offense with the, you know, run, uh, run pass game? Yeah, I think I think we're everybody's striving for that in the spring. I think we're, I think you know this is this should be our best offense line we've had. We got good backs. We should be able to run the ball. We've run the ball pretty effectively. Um, passing game. I think when 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 Gus is in there and he's healthy and he's making decisions, we've thrown the ball pretty effectively. So we think we can run and pass pretty good. I think I think we'll run and pass it better than we ever have next fall. So that's the goal for certain. Is, is it part of the reason why you're so pleased this spring is? You're not having to go over fundamentals maybe as much as you used to, and it's more kind of nuanced, maybe next level kind of stuff? I would say for the first group, definitely. There's there's some veteran guys that kind of 
you know, Brad Koenig plays his position pretty well every snap at Will Back, you know, and, and obviously Gus, all the snaps. He, he don't have a lot of really bad bad days. He might have a bad play here and there. We start playing young guys that we're coaching. Like, I look and say, shouldn't be this damn hard, you know, like to coach. But uh, so we still have plenty. The pace of play is what excites me. Like, when you have guys that get it, they go and they play fast and they make quick decisions and they go. When you have young, inexperienced guys, there's paralysis by analysis, there's tentativeness, and you see it on both sides of the ball. I haven't seen any of that. We even got our young guys, because our older guys are playing so, not reckless, but so frenetic. As soon as that ball snapped, we are flying around. The young guys are starting to figure out, hey, that's how you play. So the old guys are really setting a bar for the pace of play. And I'm not talking about between plays like a up-tempo offense. I'm talking about when the ball snapped, you better make quick decisions or people are going to be breathing down your neck on both sides of the ball. So that's what's been so good. And the young guys are really learning from the older guys. And we're not, we were carping on it day one, day two, and it just kind of took off from there. Our guys have played really hard all spring. I like the crowd that came out today. Yeah, it was good. It was good atmosphere. I like the crowd. I like the venue. I like the DJ. I like, we had so much going. We had pancake breakfast at 6 a.m. this morning. We had a running back commit at 9 a.m. this morning. We had some alumni in here. Some of our big donors were in here. We had all our commitments that signed in February in here. And then, oh, yeah, by the way, we had a spring game at 1.30. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to lay on my you-know-what. I'm going to get a nice big Slurpee, and I'm going to watch as much NBA and NHL and Major League Baseball as I can until I pass out, which will probably be in about 15 minutes. That's my goal for the rest of the day.